Mark Crossford here with Coach Lockie. Hello, Hello. Coach. Hello. We've had a little go with the Nike Origin putters. We have indeed. Um, I've had these a while and I've not had time to do the review, so I'm doing the review now. And Coach is going to put his little input also into the Nike Method Origin putters. Let's get stuck in. Right, Matt. Out of two shapes, you got B201 and what and a B1, I think, isn't it? It's a B101. B1 and B201. And then a B201. <laughs> um, more square on the B101 shape, isn't it? Yeah, that's more like my Sh personal style. Straight palette. lines, less curve, yeah. all that very classic kind of ping out to shape, really, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So we're getting the grooves on the front. Help him roll, I'm guessing. Yeah, they are polymer face design. I'm reading it from the website. Updated method groove pattern for more consistency, consistency which lots of companies do. It comes on both. Yeah. Um, get the RZN resin in between the two parts of the head. And you can see from the bottom, it's like thicker on the toe sides, but yeah. in the middle. And you can see it in the back as well, you can can't see it in you? The between back. the two That's layers. That's to help off center hits. Um, so keep the speed of the ball off your face uh, similar for different strikes on different parts of the face because if you lose ball speed from a different part of the face, obviously if you think of a putt breaking, mm -hmm. speed's crucial when it comes to line. So if you're varying your speed, you're probably not going to hold butts. Yeah. Um, and then lead specific weights on the bottom as well. Weights on the bottom. There and they off are. the face, which is also going to help with MOIs again, twisting, twisting off center yeah. hits and faces. So the tech on the putter is all very in brand with Nike. Um, not particularly doing anything massively different. Of the resin the idea is different. How much you'll measurably feel that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure people would say they do, but I've measured. We actually did some putts with Sam, and I didn't see any measurable difference. Um, but the feel, they felt good, didn't they? Yeah, they were nice. Um, off the face, it felt good, especially with the ball that I used as well. It was soft, yeah. so that's what I like with my putting. Okay. Um, and basically around any part of the green, I just like the soft feel. So. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the shape, you like the square... Squareness uh, is more my type, or yeah. One. I, to be honest, if you had the two shapes, I prefer that one. Mm -hmm. I think the square lines are quite good there for lining up and yep. feeling the direction of the putter, those kind of things. Um, I've got a little bit of a bugbear. I knew you would. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hit me. I don't like the line. I know what you're going to say, because yeah. Because the line is on two different levels. So obviously in perspective, you've got to make sure, and you should be making sure, and Nike would want you to make sure that your putter is perfectly lied for you. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as you move that, that line isn't lining up because they're one's higher than the other. Yeah. So you're getting this um, natural perspective crossover in the line. So the line doesn't match up. Um, I'm shocked I've not heard anyone say that about them before because I found it quite... I don't like putters because I'm very kind of feel based. I've never liked putters that try to help me put it in an exact position. Yeah, set you up basically. Because I am yeah. from day to day, I'm moving them around a bit more, a bit flatter depending mm -hmm. on the lie and all those kind of things. Yeah. Um, you know, what happens if you get that on different slopes as well, surely... Yeah, ball below your feet and you want to change the yeah. lie angle of your putter again yeah. and then it looks funny. <laughs> and that, that just put me off a yeah. little bit. I love the shape, I love the feel. Grooves, resin, all that feels fine. I'm not, you know, it's a putter. There's a limit to how much you're really going to squeeze out of a putter. The same there is with a driver. There's no difference, actually. Yeah. Um, I did love the shape and the look. I love the branding. I love the little Nike on the neckline, which is always there. Very good at branding and the blue tick. And the blue tick, yeah. Shapes inspired by their players. I think we've got Rory using Rory one and shape. Rory Tiger one. Uh, yeah. They are saying Tiger. Swartzall, I think, has got one in his bag, has he? Yeah, they say that. So the B201... Uh, inspired in the bag of Rory McIlroy, basically. So that's the more rounded one, isn't it? Yeah, the more rounded more, one. Yeah. And I know that's pretty good for selling, probably, but that doesn't mean anything to me, as a for me as a purchaser. I like to know what great players, and I have. That's not fair, actually, because I have been influenced with looks of putters like Sebi. I wanted the answer because mm -hmm. he had it. So I guess why they say that yeah. um, is all good, and some people might want to have that look as well. I personally, no disrespect, Rory's a great player. I wouldn't be looking for Rory for the particularly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. Um, 
I liked them. I thought they were solid. I think people would like them a lot on the shop floor. I like the square look, but you go and try. Uh, I like the fact they're trying to push the barriers of how it works on the face with different hits. Yeah, and um, maybe get your lie tested as well, just to make sure those lines are lined up properly. I'm just a little bit surprised nowhere I'm seeing about that line, because it does annoy me that yeah. I have to, like I'm fiddling with my putt. Well, I want to just set and go, you know what my putt is, mm -hmm. I'm quite quick to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so post comments down below, have you seen them? Do you love them? What do you think of the line? Are you surprised no one's picking up the fact that these lines are on different levels? Because this is a standard length putt, a standard light at the moment, so if you picked it up, at your height and where your hand position, you probably aren't going to put it in the same place as me. Puffing is as important as driver or iron fee, in my opinion, yep. and I'm sure Nike would say the same. Um, I'm just surprised no one's really pointing that out. I just can't get over that. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.